Hello, this is Mr. Buffington, and in this lesson we will be talking about Prime V Composite, or Prime, prime V Composite, depending on where you're from and where you're listening from, you might say it Composite or Composite. Um, so what to expect, we're going to talk about Prime, and we're going to talk about Composite Numbers today, what they are, and how you can identify which number, whether a number is one or the other. So first off, let's talk about prime numbers. Prime numbers are first off greater than one. Secondly, they can't be they can't be evenly divided by anything except one and itself. Or in other words, it has no factors other than one and itself. Those are the that's the definition of what a prime number is. Okay, it's greater than one and it has no factors other than one and itself. In other words, it can't be evenly divided by anything other than one in itself. So 7 is a prime number. Why? Because 7 can only be divided by evenly by 1 and by 7. So 1 and 7 are the only factors of 7. Therefore, it's prime. It has no other factors other than itself and 1. That's the definition of a prime number. Let me show you another example. 5. I'd like you to think about why 5 is a prime number. Perhaps you thought 5 can only be divided evenly by 1 and 5, or the same thing only in a different way, 1 and 5 are the only factors of 5. Let me show you how this works. 5 divided by 1 is 5, so it can be divided by 1 evenly. It cannot be divided by 2 evenly. 5 divided by 2 is 2 and a half, right? The other number it can be divided evenly by is 5. 5 divided by 5 gives us 1. So the other two numbers in between, 5 divided by 2, 5 divided by 3, 5 divided by 4, they all give you these decimal answers. So the only number it can be divided evenly by is 1 and 5, or itself and 5. The only factors are 5 and 1. That is why we call it a prime number. Prime number can only be divided by 1 and itself. Those are the only two factors. So what do you think a composite would be? First off, it also has to be greater than 1. But what, um, what do you think? I'll give you a hint. Basically, it's not prime. It is not a prime number. So it has factors other than one and itself. All right, that's what a composite number is. It's not a prime. It has factors other than one in itself, and it's really close to the word compost. Yeah, I don't know if you noticed that when you saw it, but um, all right, let's take a look at some numbers. Composite number six is a composite number. Why? Because you, when you divide six by itself, it gives you six. That's not really part of the question, but when you divide by 2 and by 3, you also get nice even numbers. Dividing by 4 and 5 gives you those odd numbers, okay? And I put dividing it by itself and dividing it by 1, I put them in black kind of off to the side. The reason it's a composite number is because it will divide evenly by 2 and by 3. Those two, um, equations there that are in yellow. So we would say that 2 and 3 are factors of 6. And remember, if a number has a factor other than 1 in itself, it's composite. So that's the basics of, of composite versus prime. So let's take a look at it. One other thing, um, you can quickly tell if it's a, a number's composite. All even numbers greater than 2 are composite. Why? because all of them have a factor of 2. Here's an example, 20 divided by 2, 12 divided by 2, 34 divided by 2, 6 divided by 2, 18 divided by 2. Any number ending in 0, 2, 4, 6, or 8 are going to be composite because they all have at least one factor other than 1 in themselves, and that factor is 2. So even numbers greater than 2 are going to be composite numbers. So, let me ask you this. Is 25 a composite number? Think about that for a second. 
and tell me why. Why is it a composite number? Yes, it is a composite number. Why? Because 25 divided by 5 gives us a nice even number. 5 is a factor of 25. Remember, if a number has a factor other than 1 in itself, then it is a composite number. So let's play a quick game, prime versus composite. 36, is it prime or composite? It's a composite. We have to ask ourselves why. Why is 36 a composite? Because 36 divided by 2, 36 divided by 3, 36 divided by 4, 36 divided by 6. 2, 3, 4, 6, 9, 12, and 18 are all factors of 36. It has lots of factors other than itself and 1. Let's look at another one. 3. Is this a prime or a composite? This one is a prime. And why? Because 3 can only be divided by itself and 1. If you try doing 3 divided by 2, it gives you 1 and a half. Okay, so the numbers between 1 and 3, you can only divide evenly by 1 and by 3. So if it has no other factors than 1 and itself, we know that the number is prime. So that is the basics of prime versus composite. What I'd like to do now is have a little bit of an activity. Um, I'd like you to pause the recording and identify all of these numbers as being either prime or composite. I want you to identify these numbers, prime or composite. Pause the recording. Welcome back. Hopefully you paused the recording and you were able to look at all these numbers. I'm going to go through first off the prime numbers in this list. 3 is a prime number. 2 is a prime number. Don't ask me why I went in that order. 5 is a prime number. 7 is a prime number. And 11 is a prime number. 13 is also a prime number. These are the prime numbers. They can only be divided evenly by themselves and 1. 2 divided by 2 or 2 divided by 1. That's the only factors. Okay, The other numbers are all composite numbers, and instead of writing composite next to all of them, I'm going to actually write down what the factors are next to them. So the factors of 4, the factor of 4, other than 1 and 4, is 2. 4 divided by 2 is 2. The factors of 6, other than 1 and 6, are 2 and 3. We looked at that one earlier. Factors of 8 are 2 and 4. The factors of 9, there's one factor of 9, which is 3, other than, of course, 1 and 9, the number 1 and itself. 10 has the factors of 2 and 5, and 12 actually has lots of factors, just like 36 had a whole bunch. 12 has a bunch. 2, 3, 4, and 6 are all factors of 12. So that is the difference of prime and composite numbers with a little bit of practice thrown in there. So a quick recap, prime numbers have no factors other than 1 and themselves, and composite numbers have factors other than 1 and themselves. I hope that that lesson was helpful for you on prime versus composite. Have a wonderful day.